outside so that you don't fuck with my background for okay. an hour. Now we're live. Oh, bad timing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when last we left you guys, a, after getting Storm's coming of age ceremony complete, um, with it only slightly interrupted by the attack from a uh, fairly high level elemental, uh, you guys recovered. Uh, recovered from the festivities with Zashi and Brutus kind of wandering off that day in search of adventure and mischief and gold. Finding two of those things. Well, Brutus got gold. Zashi slightly... I think left. you ended up with a net loss, didn't you? A slightly to let net loss, yes. Um, yeah, because you had to heal in a special does, way. Does either Zashi or Brutus want to explain to the group, we're going to go the following day after that, um, of what they found? A little show and tell? Yeah. God, what started it? Um, the notices at the Copper Coral, right? Yes, the notices at the Copper Coral. We had decided to go there to see if we could get a personal quest while everyone else was resting. Hi. And um, there was one that there was a farmer, a rancher actually, that was having some problem with something eating his livestock. <laughs> where we ran into a three-headed giant king cobra. It was very sweet. Yep. After we cut off a couple of his heads and restored him to his normal body, we helped him find his crown that he had dropped <laughs> and tied it back on his giant king cobra head. And became friends forever. Yep. Love him. Um, we requested an audience with his queen. Could you turn the volume down slightly, Scott? Thank you. Uh, we requested an audience with his Queen of Snakes, who apparently was a type of fae, and returned to the rancher to get paid for taking care of the situation, eating, eating the livestock. Yes. Um, if I remember correctly, we then... No, my camera decided to defocus, and like I need it, it's an auto focusing <laughs> camera, so I needed to do a few movement in order to. I just see him waving around. I'm like, but he, it's like I could tell that the camera wasn't focused. I'm like, but it looks really ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, we went then for the second. Did we talk to her first? Yes. Because we um we talked to her first and she explained what was kind of that he was willingly knowingly allowing the yeah. corrupted meat to people that should not be having that already, like gnolls. Yeah. They didn't need extra magic. Uh to gnolls and to werewolves, I believe. Yes, the werewolves too. So we went to try and reason with him. But the cows were already eating him. Yeah. So we then oh, had to... were eating people. I don't think we mentioned that. Yeah. The, the cows were eating people. They became carnivorous. So we managed to kill most of the mutated cows by scaring them off a cliff. And then had to deal with a gorgon. Who we... We had a whole... <laughs> matador thing going for a little while it actually worked we did kill it we, we killed kill it. it and you got oh no that was the that was the liver we got yeah. the liver from it okay um got, <laughs> got cleaned up and then we went on a second mission to find out why the caravans were not were getting interrupted what was happening with them mm -hmm. And Zashi made the mistake of seeing a pile of goo and thinking it was flammable and throwing a Molotov cocktail on it while these two giant, like, uh, vulture things were there. And it erupted into bluish-green flame and turned into an undead phoenix. Uh, purplish-green flame. Purplish-green flame. Um, by the way, undead phoenixes are nasty. Yeah. Couldn't heal a, 
at all around it. And then when it attacked me, some sort of corruption caused me to be unable to heal at all. And I had to go to Sister Ayami and get a remove curse to be a there. Very, very expensive remove curse. Right. Uh, sadly, we had to run away. Um, the phoenix returned to a pile of goo and was feasting on the caravan still when we left. Did some investigation around town after getting some slight heals and learned that Undead Phoenixes, if we are going to try to kill it, the final blow has to be radiant damage, kind of like purifying light. Or we could try negotiating with it, but we have to find some sort of way to talk to it psychically to, and we could like feed it our, feed it on occasion. Um, while we hunt down the thing that caused it to be corrupt. Now, we did find out that there are three things in the palimpsest that might have caused this. It was, there's a vampire lord there, apparently named Anna, who might have, a wraith called the Duke of Shadows, and the Ghoul King. So those three creatures might have caused the um, phoenix to become undead. Supposedly, if we kill whatever created the phoenix, the, the corruption, the phoenix's own essence will be able to burn it away and it'll become a normal phoenix again. Right. Anyone know what sort of <laughs> phoenix things? Like if they're, because I'm pretty sure Zashi doesn't, but. Phoenixes uh, love pomegranates, and I learned. It wasn't paying attention on that part of the school. From Conan the Adventure cartoon when I was little. All right. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I didn't come up with some studies. So yeah, that was our last week. Well, day. That was the your, that was your last day. That was yeah. one that day. That was our time last week. Yeah. I missed a word. <laughs> so. Uh, now you guys are all caught up to speed on the craziness that Brutus and Zashi will get up to when left unsupervised. Everyone else was hung over. We were just trying to get shit done. Um, I was working. And it was because I missed Saturday because I was hung over. But, um... I meant in game, but yes. Yeah. The, uh... Um, so yeah. What do you guys want to do? When last we left you guys, you would secured the area around your domicile. Uh, Sandy, you've been working as an apprentice to Kaylee for a bit. Um, kind of disappeared for a while, honestly. Everyone <laughs> spotted you once in a while working with forges. Um, but yeah, there is, there is a pile of goo about three um three hours walk from your town and is there anything else and a bunch of dead cows mutated cows at the bottom of a cliff which we should take care of because i don't want wild animals eating it and then also getting corrupted and then yeah we didn't toss like molotov cocktails down on that to burn them you didn't no, but say I so. we should go and clean it up. I remember specifically saying that. We, I don't know if we want to pretend we already did that or not. I will pretend you already did that. Okay. There was only a few vultures and crows already there when you went to do so. Okay. Eh, it's fine. So we have this undead phoenix that um, is a problem. <laughs> Oopsie. So is it a problem because we can't control it, or is it a problem because we don't have things to feed it? Well, the whole feeding it thing, we need to be able to negotiate it with it, and we don't have psychic telepathy powers to communicate with it. Which is the only way to communicate with it. Yep. Whistler makes an illusion of a dog collar and says, Don't hurt my doggy. <laughs> so who told us those are the only ways to communicate with it? Every asked. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much anyone that knew anything about this. The only way to verbally, or verbally communicate with it. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't understand language. We'll put it that way. Oh, great. It's one of those. Well, did we bug anyone that has high enough animal handling? I no. don't think you so. You have not asked anyone that has a high animal handling. So one of my followers, who happens to be a ranger, he might. But uh, I'm sure he's busy doing something right now. But I can ask him uh, when he gets a chance to talk. Okay. Uh, he's. I mean, it's the morning, so everybody's kind of like scrambling off to do their respective duties. Um. Uh, your ranger, he kind of looks at you and says, "I, I don't really do undead." If it was a if it was a live phoenix, sure. Those are easy. You just they're spirits of consumption. They'll just eat just about anything. You just keep them fed, and they'll be fine. At undead, they start going crazy. It's hard to predict. The only thing that I can say is usually undead are pretty lazy. Whistler points to his head and then makes the the question he shrug universal hand motion. I did just type that I remember being told the yeah, phoenix Paladin. itself won't be an issue right away if we wanted to go the route of finding and dealing with whatever corrupted it in the first place. That it would be a phoenix, which then maybe we would be able to communicate with and figure it out that way. Mm -hmm. Another question would be, uh, since we can't talk to the creature, obviously, because my ranger friend is not sure, uh, do we have anyone that we might be able to talk to the dead and or maybe a necromancer of that elf possibly talk as well? I, I will let you know. Um, so his character, he's not actually here, but uh, James's character is a awakened mind warlock. He can talk to it. He has his ability. Now, it can't talk back. But he can talk to it. He has the that ability. He can psychically talk to people and creatures. Yeah, James has specifically said though he's going to be unavailable for a while. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I don't think his character has shared that yet, okay. and he's kind of mysterious esque. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we know that. So okay. can I suggest that the reason uh, James's character isn't there is because he's trying to talk to it? While we're doing this, sure. <laughs> Just can somebody roll me a d20. Sorry. I actually know his character. Can somebody roll me a d20. Got it. Okay, uh, it. you're faster than me. Shut up. I, I'm pretty sure the eight is better than the two. Yeah, no, ignore um, me. Yeah, the, the two he comes back to not having a character anymore. Yeah, <laughs> the eight comes back to like it, happy birthday. He she has no character. idea whether or not. <laughs> Shut it up. Or not. <laughs> My bad rolls should only... I should be the only one dealing with those consequences. Okay. We could go to the palimpsest and try to hunt down the undead that caused it, but we don't know which of the three did it. Three? <laughs> yeah, it was the... Cool vampire, Ray. vampire, or Wraith, yeah. Or Ghoul. <sighs> Let's do it. Before we go, do we have an expert that we've actually talked to to verify that it's one of the three, not yes. just us going on someone else's quest? No, nope. yes. we actually got the, the things and their locations from... Well, not their locations. We knew one of them might be in the, what, northeastern quarter? I don't remember. Hold on. The, the palimpsest is our neighbor, right? The, the palimpsest is on the other side of Old, uh, of old Malice. Mm -hmm. Can you, oh, okay. can you, Scott? What's the undead place that's right next to us? Uh, Where we had them come through our wall. No, so there was a tunnel, but the tunnel actually goes all the way through. The palimpsest is. Let me let me actually do this real quick. It's in purple. The palimpsest uh, is. We see our area right now. We don't see the city. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, wait, or am I logged in in the wrong thing? You're logged I... in in the wrong thing. Sorry. If you see the giant purple circle, that is where the palimpsest is. You guys are here. There is a tunnel that's where the undead came in from. 
The palimpsest, especially ghouls, tend to send out scouts to grab basically fresh meat and drag them back. So... But that, the tunnel that you were talking about, somebody collapsed. Is there another way to get there? Yeah, you can walk around. I mean, or it's, it's you get just a desert out in, in the middle. What? You get your favorite, your friendly neighborhood earthbender <laughs> to come along and uncollapse. <laughs> the fact that it's already collapsed makes me nervous, though. He was the one who collapsed it. Yeah. We can rebuild it. We have the technology. Oh, was he? Yeah. So, Doc, this was your fault to start with. Of course it was. Apparently. It sounds like an NPC action all the way. Because <laughs> you could never mess up. What's... I would have made a stone door that I could have just pushed open. <laughs> yeah. So the question that comes up to me is, out of all three of them, which one's closest? Which the... one's the most dangerous? And then do we have a timeline that we have to worry about this Phoenix? Okay, so asking around town, because you guys aren't exactly aware of all this. So the, the Phoenix, you have about, you have about two weeks. It tends to, so it tends to actually stay in its like goopy black blobby form as long as it's not woken up, and and in that form it moves ungodly slow. It just consumes everything it touches. Um, it doesn't. It, it takes a lot of energy to fly, especially when you're un, when you're undead and kind of skeletal. So it doesn't like to do it. It just kind of moves as slow as it possibly can. So you have like two weeks. Um, before it becomes a real problem for the city. The, uh, I mean, problem as in it, it eats the city, it starts eating our buildings. It, it, or... it will start eating the city. Um, you, This I actually do need an Arcana check. I'm getting an Arcana check from Whistler, Sandy, and Storm. Nice. Okay, Sandy, you actually know this. Um, the other two you don't. Of course I do. Uh, the, um, anything it consumes while the body will disintegrate will automatically become a specter and will basically hate the living. Um, Zashi and Brutus didn't have to deal with them because they dealt with the phoenix in the middle of the day If and specters can't actually exist in light. But if you were to but it will create a bunch of undead spirits. Get paid? Uh, yes, Whistler. If we take care of the Phoenix, the cabin, the caravan driver said he would pay us. And that would be a personal thing. It's not a contract with the murder of crows, so it would be us getting paid and only paying 5% to the treasury. As for your other questions, the uh, the most dangerous is kind of nebulous. Um, so the most powerful would be the Wraith, would be the Baron of Shadows. Um, just, but he's actually the least, like, worrisome because he tends to... He's basically trapped in in the palimpsest and has no real minions. Um, the uh, the least powerful, but probably the most dangerous to the city, is the Ghoul King. He actually sends out raiding parties all the time and is the one that like likes to kidnap people. So this is the other thing because Whistler's been studying this. This is very interesting to Whistler. And just looking at the circle of where the palimpsest is, is the palimpsest time dilated, dilated? Slightly. So are we walking around to get to the palimpsest? I think so. Okay. What supplies do we need to get beforehand? Um, I still have three vials of holy water, which 
will probably benefit us. Um, does anyone need to... <clears throat> to do any shopping before we head out? Um, I think I would probably like, if I can get it, some holy water as well. Um, and maybe some kind of healing potion. Because, uh, I don't well, think I'm, we have anyone who can heal me. Hey, well, I'm not sure if I can help you guys today, because I was helping Kaylee. I just got to double check with her to see if she needs me for anything. Okay. Even, like, super spot for all these orders. Uh, so. is, did you, when you got Kaylee. Oh, Sandy. Um, I wasn't expecting you today. Is there some, um... I don't really have any orders right now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, no, I was hoping I can help you with something. I mean, you got maybe I... a floor a little bit swept or something needs to be wet down. Um, make a persuasion check. Um, he's like, I don't... I mean, it's your day off. Um, <laughs> I'm sure, I, I suppose I could... I, I could get, have some cleaning done. Um... If you really want to. Yeah, so I'll just clean whatever I can, and then I'll be like, okay, just want to make sure everything's good, and then I'll head out. Okay. So Sandy is takes a little bit, but yeah, he's he's good to go. Uh, where would I have to go, and how much would it cost to get maybe a vial of holy water and some kind of healing potion? It would cost... Uh, it's going to cost 25 gold for the uh, holy water, 50 gold for the healing potion, both of them you can, well, so Abernathy, it would be for the healing potion, and holy water, you'd have to go to Sister Ayame. Or, or Zashi can as well, but, um, I am willing to do it, I just have to have the time to cast the ceremony. Yeah. Right. So since you guys are a little more experienced fighting with this undead stuff, are there any sort of supplies and suggestions that you guys have for us that we should buy, just in case? Because if we don't use it, we have it readily available. Because, I mean, I've been busy with all these windows, so I'm not really sure. <clears throat> well, it's hard to say. I know that uh, with the holy water, there's a couple of sp a spell that I can cast to help protect an individual. There's certain undead that holy water itself is effective against them. Um, yeah. So in that thought process, is there any weapons we shouldn't use that might actually make them stronger? Like maybe if we use cold or something else that might, you know, actually help them instead of something like fire that might help them? I mean, it, I'm not sure. Fire tends to be fairly good against undead, but it varies depending on... Unless you're a phoenix. Undead. Unless you're a phoenix. <laughs> it, it depends on the type of undead. <laughs> Or a puddle of goo that's secretly a phoenix that he didn't think we'd set on fire on site. I will I'll definitely say this. the healing potion. Okay. I, I will offer to Brutus that if you want a vial of holy water as we're traveling during a rest, I can make it for you if you want to pay me for the um, ingredients I need. Sure. Good with that. Just let me know when and how much. So let me double check. I am fairly certain that it's 25 gold that I'm going to need. Okay. Oh, it's the same either way then. Yeah. Oh, well then I should... I'll just buy one from Sister Ayame and save you the ceremony and spells and whatnot. I mean, unless there's a reason it would be beneficial for you to make it. Um, let me double check. I okay. think there might be... Mm, it's not coming up. Of course, it's not coming up. Okay. Manage. Known spells. Did anybody else want to get anything? Do okay. you guys think we need to get something? Please let us know. Um, so the benefit to me doing it is I might be able to negotiate for a better price for the pow powdered silver and be able to do more than one. But that would be a negotiation I would have to do with one of the people in town. If you want to try that, sure. Okay, Scott. I am going to try to negotiate the price of powdered silver down from 25 gold to something that I would maybe be able to get two. Sweet. Who are you doing that with? 
Um, I think it is Abernathy that might have the ingredients, right? Uh, he does. He he might have powdered uh, silver. He's not but exactly keen on you raiding his um, alchemical stores, though. Okay, then in that case, it is... Let me find his name. The other guy... McCone? I don't carry silver. All right. Well, then no, you should just buy the holy water from Ayame. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Um, and if we can find silver along the way, we might be able to powder some down. Okay. I mean, you could have tried to negotiate with Abernathy, but you're, you're negotiating from a position of weakness. He wants to charge you more than it's worth, not less than it's worth. Right. Yeah, sorry. Um, and... I, I make the sound of a hammer hitting an anvil. Okay, let's go to see Kaylee. Why do you want silver? I mean, I have it, but why would you want silver? Um, to make some holy water with it. I mean, I usually use it for plating and for silvering weapons, but I, I suppose, um, how much do you want? Um, so, I mean, Zashi should know how much. It's a, would... it, you need about half a pound's worth of silver for a Okay. So if it's half a pound for 25 gold, and I'm trying to do two, um, a full pound. Uh, that would be 50 gold. Okay. Any way I could reduce the price a bit on that? Can you keep Sandy busy for at least a week? You've really been bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> I definitely can. Where we're going? I, c I can get him out uh, of your hair for okay. a week. Okay, give me a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. <laughs> this is very helpful. Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty. Okay, you 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 get the two you get the two doses for twenty five gold. So. Okay. Uh, and Bruce is paying for that, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Kaylee. Really the same. Have we decided where we're going to go? We hadn't decided who we were going after yet. Right. Well, you um, don't really know. Off. So, are you going to ask around? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Okay. Um, so, you, give me who's ever making the question, uh, the um, asking around, give me a charisma investigation check, please. Oh, not it. Mm, someone else do that. Because you're basically asking people for information. Yeah. Hey, anybody. Uh, investigation. What you know about the ghoul king? Come on, Storm and Zashi. All right. Oh, you, oh, you said charisma investigation. Sorry. Yeah. Whatever I got should be uh, three higher. Okay. Oh. Okay, Daco. Yeah. Um, it, you come through. So. No one really knows who the Ghoul King is. He he he's kind of a raider. He moves around like he doesn't sit in one spot. He's also the only one of the three that can actually move around during the day. Um, the and I'm gonna change the color of my cursor real quick so that I can so that this actually makes sense. So the uh, the vampire it makes his like. Enclave right there where the yellow is. Okay. Um, and she's. There's a crypt there that's usually where she hangs out. And then we'll go. This color. Um, and then the wraith is. There's a graveyard right there. Well, the graveyard is closest. Well, except we're going to have to go around because of the I mean, time dilation. We try to go through. We're under. Well, and that's closest to the time dilation, too, yeah. right? Because uh -huh. the time dilation. So it's the most dilated area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the time dilation is... At, so the uh, the tower that the time dilation actually comes out of the lake. So it's centered here. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. But it is fairly... Yeah. So, you guys are headed to the... What I would like you guys to do is draw on the map your proposed path. Because I need to know. Because it kind of changes things. Okay. So, my proposed path is... <laughs> okay. That will take you approximately a day and a half. Now, because it's Brutus... Okay. Actually, I think it'll take less time because I'm an urchin. I lead people through cities faster, like half the time. Right. No, I was uh, Zashi's path would be a day and a half. Your path would be like four hours, except that you'd go be going right through the time dilation. Well, that's not mine. That was me. That. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just it would saying take that. Us four hours, but we'd get back three weeks later. Yeah. I'm just saying that whichever path we choose, I take half the time if I'm leading. Yeah. <laughs> This is just Brutus' thought. He doesn't. No one's explained time dilation to him. Thought point A, point B. I'm going to let my followers know that, just so you know, we're just going out for a little bit, but if it takes a week or so, I'm just warning them. <laughs> is this actually a wall? Yeah. Okay. And, and does, you know, because you've been stuck. Does just go right up to the wall? Uh, well, the slums of Old Malice do, and but you know that the, for whatever reason, the time dilation does not it basically stops at the wall. Like even if it is relatively close, the wall keeps the time dilation in. Oh, then yeah, let's trace okay. the wall. Yeah, so he's gonna show on the map because he doesn't want to go through the desert. No, okay. I'm, get eaten I'm by a worm. Yeah, if the time dilation stops at the wall and we know that, then I'm good with following the wall. Okay. It is. I mean, it's, you're still going through ruins and the like, so it's it's gonna be maze-like. Um, I'm not gonna have you actually do a maze dungeon because that's just gonna be boring. Um, <laughs> instead, if that's your proposed, so that is going to take you basically a day. Um, actually, probably less because that's entirely city. So um, storm actually gets to get storms thing. So it's gonna take you five hours. Um, but I will need intelligence checks from Storm, because you're leading, right? Yeah. We should be able to just follow the wall. I mean, we can see it. All yeah, yeah, yeah. You can follow the wall. It's not about getting lost. It's, um, about, there's creatures walking around town, uh, uh, around the town, and not yeah. getting their attention. Getting Unless you want to get their attention, at which point we'll just go with it. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like our area of town where we had to clear it out. Most of the area we're going to be walking through, no one has done that to yet. So, right, so that, intelligence. Before we leave, do we have anything to to stay in communication with each other, just in case something happens if we get separated? Who has anyone have a spell or a scroll or anything like that? Just want to make sure we don't get lost, especially if we're walking through town. Tin can and string. <laughs> If you have string long enough, I'll use it. <laughs> I'll just go with the Minotaur thing. The string through the maze? No? Okay. I've obviously got nothing for that, so. What's with the box? I was hoping you had a big ball of yarn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's with the box. <laughs> I will cast a minor illusion 30 feet above me. Um, just a just a waving hand. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> a big NPC question mark or something. Oh, Arrow pointed <laughs> down. You're the quest giver. Whistler this way. <laughs> All right. Whistler, we don't want to attract attention. I was just saying if we get separated, that would work. Not right now. So I advertise before we get there. I know. It's a problem. Okay. okay. Well, we're, we're going to go fight some things, apparently. Let's go not get killed. Okay, so for the first like hour or so, it's actually going pretty well. You, you're crossing through your own section of town. Everything's fine. About here um, is when you, let's 
Let's see, what do I want you to see? Let's see, what do I want you to get killed by? Um, yeah, what we'll do I want those. You, to you see a bunch of... They look, um... Uh, you see a bunch of winged women. Um, they seem to be, like, perched on the ruins. Um, taloned feet looking down at, like, dead bodies. They, um... Like, one is, like, peeling skin off of the dead body on the ground. There seems to be approximately six of these things. Herpes. Uh-oh. I'll just turn around to everybody and whisper. I'm like, I think we went the wrong way. <laughs> Whistler is staring at them like he looks jealous. Mm-hmm. Poor Whistler. Okay, so I'll whisper back to Storm. So is there, is there a way around where we won't have to deal with them? Is there a way around? <laughs> that we don't have to do Yeah, that. sure. You can go around, but you're going to need stealth checks. Uh-oh. Okay. Be real sneaky. <laughs> okay. We know that this goes well all the ways. Is Why don't we just cut to the chase and go through them? Do I? Can I make an arcana check? Yeah. I, mean, I, I know they're harpies, but... Yeah. Go ahead and make an arcana check. Well, let me know when we start. Oh, are we doing stealth right now? Are we trying <laughs> Get to... Get it out of the way. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see how low I roll. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! I yeah, you know they're harpies, and you actually... One is significantly different than the other harpies. Well, most of them were... Um, standard like vulture one of them actually has like brown and black wings and more like owl type ears um and seems in charge okay how close are they to each other um so like how grouped are they the one that's actually like peeling the skin off is separated but the other five including the the owl harpy they're up on the wall, so like they're right next to each other. They're 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 flocking like birds do. So like they have one scout out and then a bunch of other ones stuck. So they're flying in the air, they're not perched on the wall. No, they're part perched on the wall. They're they're watching. Okay. Yeah, I look up to Daco and I'm like you Give him the thumbs up if he wants to do it. I don't know what Daco is doing. Uh, Daco asked the question and promptly got ignored, so he's kind of just standing there defiantly, watching Brutus fail her or his uh, stealth check and <laughs> watching I didn't her. I the memo we were stealthing. I'm just continuing on, apparently. <laughs> Everyone crouching Trump, and being Trump. Brutal. Um, it's, it's I, either I, that or Brutus tripped and fell into Zashi, because I got an 11, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty low as well. <laughs> well, let me try. Let's get going with that. Stumble and yeah, accidentally. Um, so Whistler and Daco are looking at them and everyone else is just left in stealth? Well, well no, you watch as <laughs> Brutus, like, just clomps through. As you guys are, like, looking at this thing, Brutus just clomps through, runs into Zashi. Both of them drop down and the, the owl one looks, like, snaps her head and is looking straight at, the, at your minotaur. <laughs> I just saw okay. I Hi. Did we roll initiative? <laughs> yeah, please roll initiative. <laughs> Why would you assume that? We could have had a conversation. <laughs> Depends on how high my initiative is. <laughs> no. You might have noticed that no. his strength is actually not conversation. My <laughs> hope is that this is getting all my really shit. Yep, there we go. I'm hoping to get all the shitty rolls out of the way now before the combat actually starts. I'm re Brutus is really embarrassed by the fact that he fell and accidentally tackled Zashi, so he's just going to take a second to recoup on the ground. That's the excuse for the five. <laughs> hey. He was getting up without boring her with his horns. That's <laughs> Ooh, maybe it was my... I got distracted by the glow from my horns, and that's why I tripped and <laughs> body slammed. I'm sorry. We can survive a Gorgon, but we can't survive me walking. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, your best friend, Daco, did say... 
<laughs> it's like, what? Go through them. Look. Okay, flap is I'm, first. I'm, I'm, I'm an instrument for your idea. Okay. Um, for my suggestion. Yeah, uh, flap is not doing anything this turn. It's, he's just hanging on my shoulder. Well, on my chest. Okay, uh, the first of the um, harpies will go. Uh, she's just going to, or not the first, it's actually technically the third, um, will fly up and try to dive, attack Brutus. Why? Because you're the most obvious at target. And free beef. Who wouldn't turn that down? That seems rude. Uh, 14 to hit, I'm pretty sure misses. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that brings us to... No one, no one had higher than a sixteen, right? Um, I thought I did. Maybe I thought Daco did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah Daco sure had a fifteen. Nope, I did have a fifteen. You're right. So uh, the the one that was actually stripping meat is going to stalk towards Brutus. On the ground or in the air? On the ground. Excellent. Rich. Actually, they have, a, they have a speed of 20 feet, so it, it, she actually has to dash towards you, so can't actually get to you. Now it's Daco's turn. Gotcha. How close am I from said dasher going towards Brutus? Uh, we'll say you're 20 feet from Brutus right now. Excellent. So I will uh, run at the one that is now charging Brutus, and I will launch myself through the air with a spear assault and a follow-up elemental strike. That hits. Um, it uh, it screams, crap, but <laughs> she's still up. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that was my action and my bonus action. Okay. Um... And my move. Okay, so there's no blood is blood. <laughs> Okay, so one of the other ones on the wall will go ahead and attack you, Daco, as it flies down to assault you. Twenty three to hit. Yep. Is it claws rake across you? You take six points of slashing damage. Okay. No, Daku. Okay. When it eventually gets to my turn, I'll avenge you. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who's next? It looks like Just it is... Just because I'm low level doesn't make me dead. Zashi. <laughs> All right, I will go ahead and, um, as a bonus action, cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. And uh, walk up to the one that's trying to get to Brutus, since we were next to each other. And I will... I think this time around I'm going to poison spray it, so I need it to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Uh, 14? Yeah, he makes it. Okay, I'll be right back. So since we talk... well, sorry, go ahead. No I was going to say, since we talked about strategy before we left off, what's our plan? <laughs> we have one of those? <laughs> well, yeah, remember, we do that. Yeah, just remember we actually, and I'm going to go through, actually I'll talk to Scott if we can actually do this, but go back, you know, like uh, what's it called, when you think about it before, and then you go back to it, like you did it before. You mean the flashbacks? That's the word. So anyway, we can have a flashback on us strategizing on different things on if something happens and we end up doing it in a fight. This way it makes it easier for us, and we can actually strategize about it. Well, you can ask him if he'll allow it for the paladins. I know he was doing it for Shadowrun. E. What's that? Flashbacks? Um, yeah, do you have any 
Well, I mean, the same from what we actually flash back to our strategy meeting before. If something does happen unexpectedly, well, we plan a plan. So then now we sure we'll do a flashback if you want to do a flashback. I would. Okay. So. So is that when we get out there, two dollars, right? Gonna... Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, flashback. No. It's like, wait, flashbacks cost money? No, yes. no, no. <laughs> yes, the flashbacks cost money. It's part of the Extra Life campaign. Yeah. So it's worth it. So anyway, so once we get into this, possibly have Brutus possibly tank the damage or get the attention of different creatures, or whoever else is a little bit more meatier, um, and then we can engage in them. Yes, no? I'm as meaty as this gets, for yes. the record. So that works then for us. Uh, does anyone else have any other special abilities or anything we can take in consideration for when we actually do take a, a fight? Can anyone take a punch at least? Now we have an idea. Why would you want to take a punch? Not saying want, I said could take a punch. Oh. You have the option. Um, a couple of people can do the, um... Oh, Dissonant Whispers! Yes, that. Dissonant Whispers and getting advantage by, um, flanking. <laughs> I make the chittering sound of a face spider. I pull out some of, I, I actually pull some of the webbing that still we missed on the wall. We cleaned it up, hold it in my hand and cast a 20 foot square of web in the corner. <laughs> so is this part of our flashback or is this what you this have is part of the, This is the flashback. I did this in our flashback in our temple. Okay. That could be a trap. To show you that I can do this. Yeah. I like it. And now we have to clean up all this web, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think somebody does, and I look at Whistler. <laughs> no, that's what followers are for. Whistler then casts Prestidigitation and slowly burns the web away. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to practice, make sure we get him close bunch group and then try to web them is what I'm guessing and then attack them are we going to go and be able to attack them individually or are we going to try to focus fire on one and then another one I want to make sure we survive I got windows to make oh the windows still kill me um I Brutus would be super cool being the target trying to draw all of their attention mm -hmm. if Whistler thinks he can do the web thing without wrapping me up in that awful burrito. Because that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> okay. I don't have the dexterity to dodge it, is what I'm getting at. I would be yeah. caught in it. <laughs> Whistler, do any of us melee people have to worry about anything with that web that you cast? Yeah, he's nodding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, then how far we have to be away from that web then in order for us to be effective? Um, he picks up a rock. He picks up a couple of rocks. He throws them at the web, like short, and then he throws one in it and it catches it. It's about a rock's throw away. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, does anyone else have any other special abilities that we can utilize in combat? Because, I mean, this way we know ahead of time so that when something happens, we can act on it. So in the flashback, Daco just snorts, stomps the ground, and an earthen hand like comes up and just grabs a hold of Terry's ankles. <laughs> and his ankles. He was demonstrating grasping earth. Okay, so we seem to have abilities to keep things in place. Do we have anything to do anything else to anything else? Or we just keep them in place and try to hit them with stuff? I hit things hard. I gestured okay. at the end of my spear. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then I walk up and I blow fire on the rest of the web and blur it up. <laughs> Where are all of these really cool abilities earlier? Uh, this is a punching bag slash biting bag for all the goddamn ones. That so that's so fun. So Sashi actually does have a suggestion for Sandy. It's you seem to be really quick and can be precise. You can come up next to me behind my shield, stab them, and then back up behind me and so I can protect you. Shank and run. Precious. Yeah. Shank and run, Sandy. Shank and run. <laughs> Effective strategy. Shank and run and I helped. Oh, yep. okay. uh, done with the flashback? I think so. <laughs> I, because of that flashback, I will say that the rest of the harpies are going to attack Brutus as you've designated 
Brutus, the meat shield. I have my like, bow horns on. So... I totally failed that stealth check on purpose, guys. I thought that we were initiating the plan, so I was trying to make noise. Uh, 24 and 21 to hit you? Shit, yeah, both. <clears throat> I may need a nap after this. <laughs> Don't hurt me too bad. Please. Uh, you take 19 points of slashing damage <laughs> as oh, their God. talents rake into you. And then it is now the Owl Harpy's turn who starts singing a kind of... Fuck that. No, Scott, why? Uh, beautiful song. I need everybody within 300 feet of her, which is everybody. Everybody. To make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. Watch me fall under her gorgeous skull. Oh god, this is really mm -hmm. bad. What happens when I crit miss this in two seconds? Oh, close. Not quite a crit, though. <laughs> okay, so um, everybody but Zashi and Daka. Oh, hey, Flat makes it. <laughs> Yay, Flat. Awesome. Everybody but Zashi and Daka. The following thing. Um, you are charmed. You are also in incapacitated. And, um, the, uh, well, oh man, this is worded weird. So you're incapacitated, but you actually, on your turn, you get pulled your speed to the nearest harpy. Like, as though you're, like, stumbly walking towards them. In a trance. Yeah. You, uh, you don't avoid to, you don't maneuver to avoid opportunity attacks, um, but you get to make the saving throw every time you take damage. Or if you enter dangerous terrain, there's no dangerous terrain. Like that, so. And what do we have to beat in our turn? 15. But, uh, yeah, so, let's see, and that would bring us... Take us to Whistler. Okay. Well, then I'm going to start walking towards Brutus, I guess, because he's. You yeah. got the, the people right there. They're going to be the nearest ones. Mm -hmm. Does anybody opportunity attack me? Please say yes. Yeah. <laughs> one of them will. Well, actually, they probably actually right. can't, though, because I'm going to walk right up oh, to yeah, them. Yeah, you're going to walk right up to them. They can't. Sucky. Yeah. Um, and the Can rest somebody on our team take an opportunity attack? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is um, <laughs> do the rest of us that are not charmed notice the effect? Give me an insight check from Zasi and Daco. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> now fifteen for Zashi. Uh, yeah, you, you're aware that they're charmed. All right, can I smack you get, with... It hasn't provoked an attack of opportunity from you. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you were ahead of me. Okay. Yell, out, yell out to Daco that I... he's armed and he should smack us. Yeah, I will go ahead and yell out to, to whoever is not charmed that, hey, our fellows seem to be charmed. <laughs> Ooh, that counts flap, right? Yeah, flap is... I could do something about this. Uh, so actually, see. yeah, um, uh, yeah, flat can't attack though, so he can't make opportunity attacks. Yeah, <gasps> he just like drop rocks on us. Just tunk. Um, so storm, you're charmed, you move close, yeah. Sandy, you're charmed, Brutus, you're charmed. <laughs> I'm already there, so what happens? Do I move away from the one in front of me and towards the owl? Do, so doesn't don't they get to do they get to make the saving throw at the end of their turns? Nope. No, only when we no. get damaged. That's Damn. why I hope that someone would hit me. Which is why I'm wondering if I keep going towards. You go to the nearest the harpy. That's how it's the... You are you are just incapacitated. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, this is going really well. Oh, yeah. Super well. Love it. I'm already at half health. <clears throat> and you're about to get it because now uh, it's Flap's turn. 
I will allow Flap to try to make an attack. I, I know it's not in the rules, but I will allow him to try to slap somebody. Or bite him? Yeah, but it's really an just a straight 1d20 roll because he has. Is to... there anything that like allows people to shake people out or anything? Or not according to the, the ability. Okay. Okay. Well, he's on me. Okay. So is he gonna <laughs> slap you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Flies up on top of his head and grabs his head feathers and starts yanking. <laughs> yeah, he does not. He hit the two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's a strength save. Sorry. Let me... That's the wrong roll. Yeah, it's just a straight d20. Oh, but it will. It would do it any... It's still a d20. Yeah. That's actually right, because his his slap is going to be a strength save. Yeah, one d20 minus four, because it's a yeah. attack Yeah, roll. that's still right. This is why I'm allowing it, is because there's, like, the chances <laughs> of him actually hitting anybody. Really I just wanted to low. play with you. Um, so that brings us to the first harpy, who is going to attack Brutus with advantage, because you're incapacitated. 18 to hit. No! Yes! Um, I need to check on something. Uh, next, harpy, still going to attack Brut. uh, oh, wait, yes, Terry. Yeah. Although I asked the question because you said you could roll when we actually get damaged. Yeah. So when she gets rolled during her turn. Well, yeah, except Brutus didn't get damaged. Right, because he didn't get hit. Okay. Yeah. It like glanced off my armor or something. Mm -hmm. 19 to hit you, Brutus? Yeah, because I have a 19. That means it hits, right? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, it hits. I'd rather continue not Take eight to. points of slashing damage, and then please make your wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, I hope no one's hoping that I'm the one who's going to break out of this first. I mean, you just got hit. <laughs> my, bro, my wisdom. Hey, you break oh, out God. of it. See? Ah. Brutus just got hit. Now Brutus is pissed. <laughs> and that should be that Daco, up. right? Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> um, Daco continues unperturbed with that um, harpy that he hit earlier and performs another flourishy spear strike and elemental failure. And, um, and yeah. Failure is correct. Um, elemental failure. Uh, okay. And that brings us to. Um, he was worried about hitting Brutus because yeah. we're so close. That's, that's the fair. last of the ones that are. Um, Taunted by Brutus. Uh, that, that, I don't know where plus plus five came from and made a zero. That's odd. Um, but two positives or a negative. <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. To hit me? Yeah. Yeah, you know what hits. <laughs> it's over 19, it hits. <laughs> 11 points of slashing damage. You can get me. I'm bleeding out, guys. Yep. Zashi. I, have... uh, I hate to do this. I'm going to take my dagger out and I'm going to stab into... Uh, who's going to be better? Whistler, Storm, or Sandy? I think Whistler, actually, because Zashi thinks Whistler always has something up his sleeve. So, I'm going to try to hit Whistler with my knife. Okay. You don't just punch him? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, why would you just... <laughs> oh, yeah, because no. you're dex-based. You're not. I'm... Yeah, if I try to punch you, I'm going to end up missing. <laughs> 24 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, you have advantage, by the way. Well, I'm not trying... Trying for a oh, crit. Okay, so, so six <laughs> points of, of piercing damage. Whistler, please make your save. Still gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> this is such uh, a terrible fight. Didn't did know this was gonna be a PvP battle, did you? <laughs> yep. <sighs> and I will shift to try to get advantage for Brutus on some of the RPs. Okay. I was going to say, am I not technically giving Brutus advantage? As I, I mean, was if, if Daco is, then I will continue 
I should be on a Yeah, yeah Daco is it. giving Brutus advantage. Okay. So I should At have least. had advantage too. Well, no, because no. Brutus was. In, oh, yeah. yeah. You should have had advantage. Sorry, that was my bad. You can reroll. I will. It doesn't effectively change anything. Yeah, okay. Uh, you actually kill one. See? Changes everything. You managed to kill the one you were fighting. That's what snapped Brutus out of it. Fortunately, <laughs> these harpies don't have a lot of health. Yeah, just a really effective song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should have aimed for the leader first. Yeah, I think I'm going to try we to should have not. About that. We should have surprised attacked them. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with the surprise attack is that hinges on that sneaky thing. So unless we leave this asshole further back and you start the sneak without me, it's not Okay, so one more will go ahead and attack. And this one's going to attack... Uh, this one's going to attack Daco after you just killed one of its friends. That's fair. Uh, 22 to hit. Of course it does. You take 10 points of slashing damage. Oof. Um, and then it's the leader's turn who will has to use their full action to continue the song. You get the sense that as soon as you stop the song, your friends will probably wake up. But the leader is not, like, in the scrum. She's just up on the wall singing. How far away is that from us? So the wall is only about 20 feet from you, but the wall itself is 80 feet tall, so... Oh, I won't wow. But if the wall were to collapse beneath her feet, it would be a real shame for her, wouldn't it? Except she can fly. <laughs> Concentration, Jeff, right? Who wants to get thrown at a harpy? Okay. Uh, that's... Uh, Whistler, you're still enthralled. Uh, Storm, you're still enthralled. Brutus! Oh, Sandy, you're still enthralled, so... Brutus. So I have advantage on attacks, right? Yeah. Okay, at, first of all, though, I am gonna... Well, not first of all, but at the end of this, I'll do my second wind. What, for the not dying bit? That would probably be a good idea. That's oh, yeah, I, I really need to. So I'm going to start. I'm also going to use action surge, so I'll be attacking twice. But first okay. of all, miss. With advantage. Yeah, that's a miss. That's a miss. <clears throat> so for. So your second wind is a bonus action, so you just get to make two headbutt attacks, basically. Because you're second winding as right, right, right. bonus action. All right, action surge. There Natural we... 20. There you go. Hell yeah. Roll damage on... I'm gonna explode this harpy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that yes. harpy is gone. Yes! Can I use my two-weapon thing to... Is no, there another harpy close enough that I can follow Because you're up? using your second wind as your bonus action, right? Well, second wind, it said, wasn't... I don't it's think it's... A... Action. it's a second action wind. surge isn't, but second oh, wind is right, a bonus right. action. Okay. So. Yeah... I'd rather shank it, but I don't want to die, so we'll do that. Okay. I'm good. I exploded one. Mm -hmm. I have my vengeance. That's so three fine. harpies left in the leader. Oh god, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna die. And that brings us back to flat. Still hasn't been told to do anything. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he probably does fly off of my just, I mean, yeah, unless, unless he can try to wake me up again. Okay. Uh, and fail again. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, you can try to have him wake you up. Okay. That would hit my AC. That hits your AC. Um, you so it, he deals one, one minus four damage, but it's a minimum of one. So, so one damage, and you get to make your wisdom saving throw. Okay. As a bat wing just goes whack, right in front, of you. and you make your wisdom that saving throw. Sweet. And I'll be right back. Welcome back, Whistler. I. Whistler shakes his head for a second, not quite understanding what was going on, 
And as Zashi the beauty of the song leaves his head. Then looks down at his bleeding leg and just goes. goes <laughs> yeah, Zashi like taps you on the head and points to the owl harpy. <laughs> okay. Um. So, uh, let's see. That Brutus killed the one, so it'd be Daco's turn. Huzzah! So there's none left except for the L Harpy, right? No, no there's three guys. left. Oh, there's three left? Yeah. What's the next closest one to me? I'm gonna look at range wise. Uh, right next still to you. One. Yeah, oh, there's I still those one two. on yeah. Okay. Brutus. Yeah, there's still one on Brutus. Very well. Well, then that one there will be the next victim. There's actually technically one on you, because that one's okay. not dead yet. Well, I'm attacking the one I would have advantage with, so. Okay. <laughs> Can you? T I don't know what's up with those random. Oh, because it's critical hit. Yeah, that's why. Uh, okay. And yeah. Uh, Eviscerated this one. <laughs> I, I, I see ten <laughs> points of damage. Or no, oh no. I okay. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, I think it just should be six because the the critical is only on the one damage, not both, right? So it should just be. Yeah. Ten and six. So it should just be sixteen. Okay. Six. You do manage to kill another one. Brutus, you're no longer surrounded. Yay! Did you're I get welcome. any opportunity attacks? No. Thank you. Doctor 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 like, get up and do something useful now. You just watched me explode one with my head, so I've got the... two. <laughs> we are we are carrying a lot of the weight, I'm realizing. There's 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 a lot of a lot of carrying. That's because you guys are big bone. Yeah. Doc was a half elf, damn it. <laughs> okay, um so looking at the tide turning, the one is going to try to assessing from a weight standpoint, one is gonna try to pick up storm. Of course. <laughs> now is storm in our big old group? Yeah, you're Did everyone's gonna one? get an attack of opportunity that's not incapacitated. Alright, great. I will go ahead and... But first, it needs to make a grapple check against Storm. Which is not their greatest, like, ability. Now, of course, Storm is incapacitated, so they do get advantage. Yeah, okay. So they have hold of him. And, um... Or it has hold of him. It starts flying away. You guys can make your attacks. I don't know. I whiffed on that one. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> Can you make so a grapple ready, check as an attack of opportunity? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to grapple the one that's flying. Okay. okay. So at posed athletics checks? Yeah, it's not going to work. But I'm not armed, so it's either that or try to do one point of damage. Okay, and it can, can actually do... That with my attack of opportunity, because that sounds ingenious. Well, question is, Scott, do they have more of a challenge than already grappled with somebody else to try to ungrapple? Uh, they they can't do the they they have to do an athletics check. They can't do an acrobatics check, which is yes, it puts them at a strange disadvantage. They are way more dexterous than they are strong. Uh, that was on Daco, so because there's two athletics checks, so he has to do this twice and manages oh, to wow, yeah. yeah. It really wants to take storm, so it flies. It with Hopefully, it. not to eat me. It flies up about forty feet. Yeah. We should have tried to grab storm and not the harpy. Yeah. Who wants to get tossed? Who brought the dwarf? No dwarfs. Yeah, yeah. It's dwarf. now Zashi's turn. Someone up to so right. storm so, is like forty storm, feet up. Well, technically thirty-five feet up because storm, you're what, like Actually, five feet tall. Brutus, Daco can get you up there All if right. you trust him. <laughs> I, yeah. All right. So Zashi is going to try to use suggestion on the owl There's harpy. Still one um, minion harpy on the ground, and looking yeah. at um, this is the next. Uh, looking at Sandy with hunger. Yes. 
Zashi is going to try to use suggestion on the owl harpy. Okay. And tell them to stop singing. I need them to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Fifteen. <laughs> Can I use a um, extra life to force them to reroll? Sure, if you want to burn it on somebody that has legendary resistances. No, not really. <laughs> hmm, nope. All right. So, well, that didn't work. We have a plan. And that was an action to do, so I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. Hi. Oh, there's a plan on my turn. Yep. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, Sandy had a question. Yeah, so I was going to say, Scott, that I'm still stealth unless that the uh, incapacitated and charm broke my stealth. No, you're, well, yeah, because you had to, cause it wouldn't have, except that you were compelled to walk forward to the harpies, which would have broken your stealth. You're, you're kind of in the scrum right now, and that one's going to go ahead and try to do its athletics check to um, get you... The only one who has an attack of opportunity is Zashi, because she's the only one that had a turn to get her reaction back. Yep, I will attempt to hit the harpy with a 15 to hit. That hits. Okay, and 1d8 plus 3. Do you want to smite? Yeah, I think so. So that would be 3d8 plus 3, correct? Yep. Doing 11 points of damage to that one. Okay, it's still up. <laughs> so frustrating. And it goes up again 40 feet with Sandy d dangling in it. <laughs> Sandy, we're going on our own adventure. You guys are. <laughs> that brings us to Whistler. Okay. So, Do the next thing. so it's 40 feet up with Sandy. Yeah, so technically, Sandy, you're what, six feet tall? So, yeah. So technically, okay. he's 34 feet away from me. Where is, because there's that one and then one other and then the queen, right? Yeah. There... Where is the other one on me? No, the other one has uh, Storm. It's... Right, there's Sandy? one that's got Storm. Where is the other one? Uh, so there's... So there's only two minions left. And they're both in the air. They're both in the air. One has Sandy, one has Storm. Oh. And then there's the leader on the wall. Okay. How high is the one that's got Sandy? Also 40 feet up. Okay. Well, sorry, Storm. Sandy's my bro. So I take out my... Um, <laughs> my crossbow and I try to shoot the one that's got Sandy. Okay. And you hit so Sandy. drops him to his death. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, I'll be prepared to catch him because he falls. Okay. Uh, where's that? Right there. <laughs> you hit and that's enough to kill it because it already gotten hurt by Zashi. Okay, cool. I got my reaction back. Featherfall. Okay. So Sandy is like... Because he's actually still... Because he's now compelled to get to the next harpy. So he's like actually scrambling. In the air. Poor storm, but like... Slow falls down. And is probably like... Is compelled to kind of like just stand below the other harpy. Um, and that brings us to... Uh... Uh, Sandy, you're compelled. Storm, you're compelled. Brut uh, Brutus. Oh, it is me? I thought Daco. Okay. Daco is, would be first in the round order. Yeah. So. You should hold your action until Daco goes. Yeah, to I will hold my action until Daco <laughs> figures out this earth catapult that I'm about to get launched out of. I can yell fastball special like as a free action, and that's just our. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's yep. now Flap's turn. Go, Flap, go. <laughs> okay. Um, Flap is going to fly up and, and try to wake up. 
uh, oh. storm. Okay. Roll it. <laughs> he wakes up just in time to see a minotaur sailing through the air at him. Okay. Uh, where is What that? a great way to wake up. I mean, yeah. Everyone's oh, there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It slaps the harpy. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, Daco. How are Come you on. doing this? Just out of curiosity. I have no idea. He just told me to do the thing, and I'm doing the thing. I'm doing this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm totally willing to do this, too. <laughs> uh, so I'm possibly also going to do it because I'm willing to jump to get to the harpy, so I'm also going to be jumping up. Okay. <laughs> so only Brutus actually held their action. So Brutus, go ahead and uh, give me a so jump distance is triple. Hang on. Yeah, God knows. What level are you doing this at? Uh, it's just the first one, so it'll triple triple her uh, move her jump. Okay. What's your strength? A five. So you can jump 15 feet with this, straight up. Um, really? Yeah, it's your your vertical. Oh no, sorry, eight. Sorry, uh, six, 24 feet. Sorry, your vertical leap is is three plus your strength modifier. So unless you allow that athletics to let it go higher. Well, and, and 24 yeah, feet is enough because back. she's eight feet tall. So. She's mm -hmm. able to jump and grab Storm's feet. That was the idea. Which, the harpy is not strong enough to keep a lock with Brutus. Uh-uh. I do want a... Actually, let me... I, I need to check something. It sounds like Taco made the Earth a trampoline. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what it looks in the cartoon, too. Yeah. You know, there's like a pillar of the Earth. like the. Uh, I'm more them. imagining it just shoots up. Okay, yeah, the harpy is like, as you hear a snapping in its claws as you grab on to storm. As as I'm, can I bonus action like shake him on the way down? Like, wake up, wake up. Yeah, that's just what I want to do. Wake up on the way down. Yeah, wake up on the way down in my big beefy, literally beefy arms. No, because it, this is out of your turn. You're okay. You, Normally, yeah, I would have allowed it, but you, this isn't during your turn. I appreciate that, though. When it gets to my turn, be ready, Storm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. The, 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 it is now the harpy who grabbed um, Storm's turn and looks down and looks at all his dead um, companions and flies back to its leader. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it is now Zashi's turn. All right. So, um, can I run up to the wall and actually use my net to try to um, wrap the leader in my net and try to pull it off the wall? It's 80 feet up. Oh, 80 feet up. <laughs> right. ah, all right. In that case, I really hate to use this because I'm pretty sure it's just going to ignore it. But I want to compel duel to the leader. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Well, it makes it. But that was a bonus action. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll go ahead and chuck my dagger at the leader. Uh, what is the throw range of a dagger? Can you look uh, that up for me, please? It is. Oh no, that's. It's not gonna reach. Never mind. Yeah. We can. It's inconvenient. I have no long range abilities. Welcome to yeah. being a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> I will hold my action. Hopefully, one of them will get in range, and then I'll attack him with my rapier. Okay. Uh, Whistler. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, um... sorry. No. So the leader is gonna stop singing. There's no reason for it to continue to sing, and is instead... Storm, you're free! And I... <laughs> Hooray! And you wake up! What the fuck? 
Okay, um, it is instead going to hover directly, um, is it actually going to fly down to within, uh, 20 feet of Zashi, and when Becca gets back, I need her to make a constitution saving throw. And then, it, so it'll fly down, and then it'll fly back up, so it's still 30 feet up, because it, it, like, drops some weird wings over top of Becca, and then flies back up 10 feet. All right, constitution saving throw, I heard? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Hold on. <sighs> uh oh uh, you're rolling like me what's happening this, oh, no. this fight has been all sorts of terrible this fight. Hey, some of us have been doing pretty awesome okay yeah, I was gonna say, we'll carry the load here relatively I well showed us a minute uh, Zashi you fall unconscious you. <laughs> I am unconscious uh, as sleep takes you and Why does everybody stay awake and it wasn't close enough for me to use my oppor- my uh no. Held action. Okay. I are asleep. It it wasn't like a. Oh, well, I, did you hold your throwing dagger? Well, that's what I. Yeah. Had. Then you you would have had the ability to throw your dagger. Actually, out. no, because I had put that away and pulled the rapier out to hit one of the other ones, so I had my rapier out. Yeah. So no. Um, and it is just like a flat out unconscious. Yeah, you're just unconscious. Okay. It's like you're asleep. <laughs> okay. And then it's now thirty feet up and kind of hovering. Whistler. So how close we got the wall on one side? How close is the nearest building? Is there a building within twenty feet? I mean, are we in like an alley or is it a? Yeah, it's a street, wider... so it, it, it's like ten feet away. Like it's, it's okay. So I am going to go ahead and take out a little piece of web, chit like a spider, and cast web across the top. So I'm just catching her in the bottom of it. Okay. And then 20 feet up. And that's a strength saving throw? Strength saving throw, yeah. But she doesn't make until her turn. Oh, yeah. And even if she may, if she misses it, she's restrained. If she makes it it's still um difficult terrain yeah and i'll count it as that she can't pass through it because it's wet so it's like or it should have disadvantage I think. okay it is now now i actually have to look up whose turn it is uh, i just wanted to be my turn so i could do something yeah sorry about that <laughs> you can do something you can fall with style storm what is your actual initiative uh, it was like seven. First order of business, thanking your savior. <laughs> oh, well, oh, we'll go I with, uh, it we'll go with Sandy. <laughs> It'll be Sandy and then Storm. So Sandy, what do you want to do? Trying to figure out what happened. Uh, anyone know what happened? I was over there and now I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you reached the ground yet? Because you were feather falling. No, you hit the ground. At, okay. Yeah. Is the ground still wobbling? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) No. I think it's just an instant. Like it was a blast. Okay. It doesn't actually say, but it's concentration actually. Yeah. So yeah, it's still trampoliny. Okay. Unless you drop concentration on it. So we're on an earth trampoline. There you go. I can still nestle your falls. (laughs) Does anyone know what happened to the people we're gonna fight? Because they were just right here. You, you see dead harpy bodies all around here. So did we win? There are still We're a couple. Still fighting. Are you the now she's asleep. Wake Anyone? up, Josh. Well, we would remember what we did while we were enthralled, right? Uh, it's nebulous, but we'll say yeah. You guys kind of have a vague oh. idea. Foggy feeling. Okay, yeah. Then. So, yeah. I guess we're going to try to wake up Zashi if she's asleep. Okay, you use your action, you wake up Zashi. Zashi so wakes up. It's like, ah, Sandy, I fucking hate that thing. <laughs> Language. <laughs> family friendly. We are not family friendly. Paladins these days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they can just say whatever they want. Not that kind of paladin. <laughs> 
Okay. So that's your action. Do you have a bonus action or anything? Uh, possibly do go back to stealth. Okay. okay. Yeah, you, you go ahead and give me a stealth check. And then, Storm, what do you want to do? What Am do I in the arms of a minotaur? Yes, you are being nestled by the minotaur on a trampoline. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just going to... How high up is, is the bird? Uh, it is currently 30 feet up with a web directly above it. All right. And then the minion is up is 80 feet up on the wall. You can't even really right. see it. Throw you. Like you throw a baby in the air and then catch it? I'll throw you. <laughs> no, please no. I'm going to look at the, uh, the harpy that's 30 feet, and I'm just going to cast second level sleep on it. Okay. You Go like ahead it. and roll me the... Wait a minute, it's, it would be 78? Yeah. Uh, don't even bother. You, you can't possibly put it to sleep. Even if I you can't. rolled max. It has 112 oh, hit points. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well then. <laughs> Kill it. Shit. If we shave off some of those hit points, you can do it towards the end. Yep. Please do that. And then just smash its face. Brutus, it's now your turn. I'll look at Storm really quick. Do you want me to toss you? <laughs> no. If you say no, I put you down because I'm aware that you're conscious now. And since the trampoline is still trampolining, oh. I want to jump at the harpy. Okay, and this I'm actually going to need. Wait a minute. So what did I say? 24 feet? No, you got it. You, you were able to get it. Give me a... What do you want to do? Do you want to attack it? Do you want to grapple it? What are you trying to do? It's already possibly restrained up there. Web. It's, yeah. Huh? It might be stuck already. So if you try to grapple it, it won't do. You'll just free it. Can I, um, like a spear, just straight up what with Yeah, make horn? an attack roll with your head butt. Am I still in your arms? <laughs> no, I specifically put you down when you said you didn't want to be thrown because I respected your wishes. <laughs> do I miss? Or do I get advantage because it's restrained? Uh, we have it, it's yeah, not. It's not actually restrained, restrained yet. yet. Uh, uh, you miss. It's a little hard to like trampoline uh, spear something thirty feet up. I'll get the hang of it. I got it next time, guys. Uh, okay. Okay, that brings us to Flap. Um, I'm just going to have Flap fly around the web, making its way back towards me. Okay. Daco. Well, I'm currently maintaining concentration for anybody who else who wants to leap up there. I'll let everyone know that uh, if anybody else wants to try and jump up, the ground is their ally in this. And uh, I guess just maintain concentration for another round and see if anybody takes advantage of it. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, Zashi. Oh, yeah. Gonna put the dagger away and go ahead and try to jump up there and try to hit it okay, with Okay, what right is here. your strength modifier? Negative one. So you have a vertical leap of two feet. Times three is six feet. No way I can reach it. No. All right. Well, can I do my dagger instead and actually throw it at her? Uh, yeah. I will say with the jump, you're able to jump up and throw the dagger. So go ahead and make an attack roll with disadvantage because that's in its with that's outside of its minimum range. Minimum it's only range. Twenty is feet 20 up. Feet. I thought. It's thirty feet up. So yes. Yeah, it still... flew to twenty feet, did its thing, and then flew to ten feet okay. back up. Fifteen. Still hits. Yes. And yeah, I, I can't smite with this. I will allow thrown weapons to smite because it's still a melee. It, it's not actually how it's worded, but it is a melee weapon, so I will. All right, I will go ahead and use my last smite then. Okay. For total of ten points of damage. Okay. It's at one hundred and two. <sighs> it is a pain in the ass. Yep. It is now its turn. Uh, it now has to make the strength save. It is restrained. It is going to use its 
legendary resistance to not be restrained. Um, but it is not going to go f fly up. It's going to actually fly above you, Whistler, and I need it 20 feet above you. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You fall unconscious. And, and then goes away. Yeah. And then it flies up and out. It's running away. It's a giant venomoth. Okay, but it can't have gotten very far because it had to move to it get has to a me. And then it had speed to... 90 feet. Okay. So, yeah, it's. You were 20 feet away, so it's 60 feet up from you. Whistler, you're unconscious. Oh, and poisoned. You're unconscious and poisoned. BT dubs, oh. also poisoned. It didn't affect Zashi because she's immune to poison, but. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what did she do? She, like, this weird, like, dust from her wings came down. Okay. It was very venom moppy, honestly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. And now she's, she's back up. Uh, does anyone want to pursue this fight, or are you going to just let her run? Kill her! Kill her! Okay. That brings I us to Earth Sandy. Trample. I have an Earth Trampoline. I'm using this as long as I can. Sandy. How far away is she? She's 60 feet up from you. And I'm going to use my longbow this time? Okay. That hits. Oh, shit. And then the damage, I believe, is a 1d8 for the longbow? Yeah, 1d8 plus your death modifier. Which is 2. Okay. That's all I got. Yeah, okay. Arrow sticks into the side of her thigh. She screams at you a bit. Uh, Storm. She's 60 feet up in the air? Yeah. I'm going to cast a Phantasmal Force on her. Okay, what are you creating? A, a, a giant Goliath bird-eating spider. <laughs> I like it. And actually, that's an illusion. That's not a save. Saving it, uh, it, intelligence save. Intelligence save. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's got probably three. Nope, only she has two. one. And she fails. Okay. And she... I'm going to use uh, uh, it to attack her with the one d six damage. Okay, go ahead and roll it. And she suddenly stops and screams in fear as she sees this giant bird spider. Do we see it as well, but just nope. know it's an option? We don't even see it. Mm -mm. She just stopped in midair and screamed. And it just does the damage. It doesn't have to make an attack roll. As right. long as it's within its area. Yes, so it's... Six. Okay. Uh, Brutus. Same thing. 60 days. feet up. You cannot make that jump. <laughs> Daco. Or well, Brut I, can, I can do stuff. Okay. I'm just. Yeah. No faith. Come on. Remember, I, Whistler gave me a light crossbow at Storm's reluctant birthday party. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can I, can I still trampoline into the air and get closer for like an advantage shot? Is that so? So I do want to point out one thing. I assume that I got the light crossbow back, which is the only reason that um, Sandy didn't get taken. Why would you do this to me? Uh, I will allow you to use your, you when you're jumping, jump up and throw a javelin, and we'll say that you. You get... could just pick up the crossbow because it's laying on the ground because Whistler's asleep. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> oh, same thing. So, okay. okay. But so as I'm jumping up and like it's distracted and I'm doing a cool thing, can I get like an advantage? No. 
Damn it. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not giving you disadvantage for trying to make a jumping crossbow shot. <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. All right, I miss then. Okay. I'll action surge and try again. Because I can. You've already used your action surge this short rest. Oh, yeah, shit. Damn, I would have made this one. It was cool. Sorry. Fine. Gone. No, it's fine. I'm not. <laughs> Flap. It's turn. Weirdly, so in Flap being the amazing minute, uh, he, he can use his action to wake you up, I guess. Okay. <laughs> He's going to try to shake me up. It just happens. He doesn't even. Yeah. Play. Okay. He's such a royal familiar taking initiative. Daco. Um, Daco is actually going to be like, free rides are done. And he's going to run over to the wall and he's going to earthbend a five foot ladder because he can only affect a five foot block of stone at a time. <laughs> he's going to start building a lot, like earthbending a ladder into place <laughs> on this one. <laughs> okay. Five foot at a time. I'm going to, I'm going to get there. Uh huh. <laughs> Zashi. All right, so the harpy is seems distracted by something that I can't see. Correct. Um, and it seemed to be moving away from us. It moved away from you and suddenly stopped in midair okay. and screamed. So I'm going to go ahead and follow, and I'm going to see if along the wall or in the buildings there's anything that I can start climbing up to. Like, Give me a yeah. One of the buildings has like a ruined staircase. All right, I will start heading up it to, oddly, probably jump rooftop to rooftop to try to follow this thing. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure I can't get in range this turn, even dashing, so. Okay, it's, it's turn. It is going to um, back away and from the spider, which means that it's coming back down to the ground. Um. Does it pass me at any point during this? No, you went into the building. Oh, I I thought I was running and that there was, like, ruins that I could just run up. That's yeah. what I'm saying, is I wouldn't yeah, run Yeah, but you still wouldn't pass you. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay, that's what I'm asking. Okay, yeah, and it lands... It actually wouldn't land. It's going to hover about 10 feet off the ground and is going to try to, like, zoom out. It's, it's just trying to get out of here and not get attacked by a giant bird-eating spider that only I can hate see. And that brings us to Whistler, who wakes up. Okay, so Whistler wakes up poisoned. Mm -hmm. Um, and so he's rather than Rather than going after anybody or anything, he's going to get up and he's going to check one of the harpy corpses um, for stuff. And then as a bonus action check, well, he has to do it at a disadvantage. Well, yeah, these are both at disadvantage. So the first one's the one, and then the second one's another one as a bonus action because he took the investigator fee. Okay, so... Uh, so a 20 and 11. Sorry, yeah. an 18 and an 11. Yeah, I, I got you. Poison. Um... You find some jewels, uh, a few daggers, um, probably 50 gold worth of jewels, and like two daggers. Okay. Still stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's Whistler, so that brings us to Sandy. How far away? Uh, it used this action to dash, so fly speed of, uh, so it's 140 feet away from you guys. It's on the ground now. I mean, it's not on the ground, but it, it's within the ground. I believe it's still within range for my longbow. Yeah, it is. You have disadvantage on, well, you can move 20 feet up and you'll, you won't have disadvantage if you want to attack with your longbow. Am I going to use his ladder for, to get that 20 feet and then do it? No, because it's actually only 10 feet off the ground. You, you just have to move down the street 20 feet. Okay, I can do that. You hit. Okay. 
Okay. Another arrow sinks into its thigh. Storm. Uh, All right. Oh, actually, so sneak attack damage because you were hiding. You didn't know where you were, so. Uh, so okay. Do you want a bonus action hide again? Yes, I could. Yeah. Okay, Storm. How far is it? It's, uh, 140 feet away from you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's running. It, it's it, it's making no effort to attack you. It's just running the hell away. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. It's too far away. Okay. Uh, you want to roll the psychic damage for the thing? Well, it has to be in reach. Okay. It has to be within five feet or in the area, so okay. it's already gone. Okay. Brutus, you gonna chase after it? Yeah. How far away is it? One hundred uh, from you, one hundred and ten yeah. feet. Okay. Well, I can dash and make it sixty, so I'm plowing after it because so no one. Brutus is taking off down the road. <laughs> Yell at me to stop. <laughs> ah, you're good. <laughs> Daco, or actually Flap. Um, I will. I will have Flap dash and go and hang out in front of Brutus. <laughs> this bat just starts. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So is everybody letting this thing run away, or you guys want to continue to pursue it? Nope. I'm going to chase once my turn comes up, because Brutus took off. I'm going after Brutus. Okay, Daco, it's your turn. I mean, I'm going to full dash after Brutus, because, you know, it's not on top of the wall anymore. You're 10 so. feet behind Brutus as Brutus comes to a screeching halt with flaps. Right, fine. Zashi. I'm going to call out to Daco and Brutus, saying, I don't think you're going to be able to catch it. It's running. And I'm going to investigate the area for my dagger and anything else I can find. Okay, your dagger is easy enough to find. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation roll. It's its turn. It's moving another 180 feet away from you guys. Just lowly eight. Can we, you we find can your dagger. We can still all about pursuing. <laughs> so is Bruce, actually. Oh, it's oh. going really fast. Yeah. Um, if they are actually continuing to dash away from him, Zashi will curse after finding her dagger and continue after you guys. Okay. So I'm going to get you guys out of initiative because unless you have a plan to catch it, it, uh -huh. it um, there is no way you're doing that. Yeah, no. But what I will do is I need... <laughs> We're going to trip into another encounter. <laughs> Zashi, Brutus, and Daco to make... Perception checks. Okay. What checks? Sorry. Perception. Perception. I was like, please say stealth. <laughs> I have one focus. <laughs> My focus is that goddamn bird. Oh, man. Unless Daco tells me to stop. So Zashi <laughs> and Daco both are able to, like, see it. <laughs> Brutus, not so much. Um, Brutus, you're just gonna fall right into this thing. Um, Zashi and Daco, I need. Well, I, I need Daco. You're able to see it early enough. Da uh, Zashi, I need you to make a dex. I need you to make an acrobatics check to kind of stop your momentum as you, uh, as a sinkhole is in the ground, and I need you to not fall in. Nope, I'm pretty sure I fell in. I'm a perfect person to fall into a sinkhole. Well, if I saw it fast enough. Can I have done something about a sinkhole? <laughs> oh yeah, actually you could. So, with so actually you guys don't fall in, and there's a little ground thing, and you're able to like kind of move it. You, you, it's too big of a sinkhole to like actually like, but you're able to stop Brutus from falling into the into the giant sinkhole. Okay, all right. I pulled it with stop. Like oh. Thanks, Daco. <laughs> I want a 1d10. I want to see how many minutes you guys were chasing after this thing. As long as it was visible. Four. 
But yeah, four minutes. You were four minutes. So you were four minutes like away at full speed. Um, oh my god. <laughs> And it just was, and like it was making turns, like you were chasing after this thing. So, so we have how good is your guys' city survival checks? Um, um, what kind of check is that? That's survival? right, intelligence survival check. Oh, even better. And it would just be so. I same either way for me. So that would just be like an intelligence check, right? Yeah. It would be a plus two for me. Daco, you know where you're at. You can get back. If you look up 30 feet, you're going to see a little arrow pointing down. <laughs> 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 he goes, oh, you're over there. The NPC is We that? talked about this. Yeah, you did talk about this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Carrie's like, best $2 I ever spent. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess on our way walking back, I'll kind of check out the area, see if we can find anything as we saunter back to the arrow in the sky. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a ruined area. I'll get, say, give me an investigation check. Oh, not 20 for once. Did you yeah, find... Maybe. In the middle of the rubble, you are able to uncover, like, six javelins of decent repair. Like, they're in decent shape. Is that it? Most yeah, of the place has been pretty much looted. Yeah, I kind of figured that. But even these javelins will help me with a little bit with range, though I kind of suck at throwing things. It might help Brutus with range. I did fine. Or Daco. Yeah, right. I mean, he's got a spear, so it's pretty much the same range if I just run it. He's not very good. Well, and javelins are strength based, too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm super happy. No, I'll take it for sure. <laughs> so, Brutus wants to take a short rest. Please and thank you. I, I want to check the other two corpses. I'm dying. Yes, please. Yeah, I should probably take that short rest also. Okay. Uh, three corpses. <laughs> Looking at my hit points now. Three corpses. <laughs> yeah. No, only two. One of the standard ones got away. Yeah, there, there were six total. The leader got away, okay. the standard one. So if there's four total, total corpses, so there's... You know, you've already checked two, so yeah, so two. Yeah. What about the dead bodies that were already here? Natural 20 on that investigation roll. Okay. And that's a 24, because I'm assuming I'm still poisoned. Oh, yeah. It's still, so that's... it's actually a 24, 22, and a 9. Okay. Um... So the nine, you get nothing. That twenty-four, though, um, you get a a scroll that your tings your magical senses. I'll say. Okay. And then anything from the twenty-two. Um, you get a few. You get like twenty-five gold. Okay, so I pass out the gold mm -hmm. to everybody who's with us. So. Yay! Thank you. So how yeah. much is that? So it's. Everybody gets four, except for I give the extra. F I, I keep the extra fifth one in that case. And then I've got the 50 gold worth of gems, and I just give a gem to everybody, and I get give the best looking two to Terry and, sorry, to Sandy and Brutus. Oh, and I, I keep the scroll. Okay, the scroll is a scroll of mirror image. Oh, sweet. Nice. So the gem is worth how much? Individual? Oh, no, you... S if it was 50 I... gold, there's... It's... I don't know, it's like... Math right now. Uh, by the way, all of you gained 300 experience for that fight. Yay! And then you guys are going to take a short rest. Um, yes, please. So, Whistler, you're no longer poisoned. After this short rest. Okay. Um, you guys heal. Mm -hmm. However, about right when you're about ready to set off, you start hearing a haunting song coming from the walls. And as you look up, more and more shadows are getting gathering above you. Probably is not a good idea to take a short rest right where you guys had a fight. Yeah, but... Ow. <laughs> well, did we take a short rest here, or did we walk further down? 
You, it sounded like you took a short rest there. Okay. Unless someone said otherwise, Brutus just saw you guys and sat down immediately. Oh, did we go? So did Naco. And I, I was too sick to complain. So, yeah. Okay. But Damn they it. don't seem to be Still hostile. I mean, they seem hostile, but they don't seem to be attacking you. They're just watching you. Uh, yeah. And that's where we'll stop for today. Okay. Since we did take a short rest, I am going to use my arcane recovery to get mm -hmm. back a second level spell slot. Okay. And I will stop the streaming.